Hey, what's up guys? Mendel here. Hope you're all safe during these weird times. But today I want to show you something really cool. Before we dig in, if you like blast beats, harpsichords and guitars, get the shirt uh, at the website in the description box below. Having that said, let's dig right in. So um, there's a very cool plugin called Track Spacer by Waves Factory. And the first thing I really like about this, since I have a 4K screen, uh, the GUI is like huge which is awesome. So on my screen, I can see everything very clear. Love that. Okay, so what this does um, in very basic terms, it creates space for a certain source of your choice in the mix. So I'm gonna bypass it and hopefully you can hear the vocals in this part are kinda like being pushed away because of the blast beat and all the synths and stuff. Here we go. <laughs> So, so what I did is uh, I put track spacer on the instrumental. So that my instrumental bus is everything besides vocals. So I got it over there. I got it on bypass now. And what I did is I side chained my scream master bus. So that's all the screams in the song. One bus put it in side chain on this plugin and the plugin itself is on the master bus. So what's it gonna do? All the conflicting frequencies and stuff are gonna be pushed down to make room for the vocals. So have a low cut here so it doesn't affect the lows, uh, it doesn't affect the highs, not that there are a lot of lows in the, in these vocals because they're high screams. I'm gonna put your ratio slash amount way over it so you can at least hear the effect and then we're gonna do it in a subtle way. So watch what happens. <laughs> So you can, because I put it on 100%, you can really hear like those vocals are like pushing down everything. So let's do it in a more subtle way. So that to my ear sounds way better. Maybe a bit too much, but I like how it sounds. So let's A-B that. So you can really hear, and it's in the name, but it really makes a lot of, um, it really creates a lot of space in the mix, which I really like. So before you get this plug in and put it on everything, uh, my philosophy is you should first have a good solid bass mix, like a good solid mix. And then when you notice these issues, this can be a wonderful tool in my opinion. So go check it out, Waste Factory Track Spacer. See you next time. 